Mary had written a number of short stories, but she considered them to be way too short to actually self-publish them onto Amazon KDP. But she was completely incorrect with regards to her assumptions. And that's why in today's video, we're gonna be talking about get your short story published on Amazon. This is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com where self-publishing doesn't have to be so hard. So it was about a year ago and Mary had written by this point a number of books, well, really short stories, and she was thinking about the option in terms of what she should do with them. So she decided she would put them on Wattpad. And after she had put them out there, she started noticing that people actually enjoyed reading these short stories and were giving her a lot of positive feedback. The thing though was is that she wasn't making any money off of the site. And so she was considering the possibility of whether these short stories could just as easily be published on Amazon, even though they were quite short. So she wasn't sure if there were any rules or things that would prohibit that, or maybe they wouldn't make any sales and she would do better just by putting them out there for free. The thing is, she had always enjoyed writing and her short stories were quite popular, but by being so short, who was going to pay for a book on Amazon paperback or in terms of Kindle if the book was just a very short one? And that was some of the limiting mindsets that she had regarding these. So she wrote these books, put them on what Wattpad, and she started seeing herself getting thousands of downloads where people were reading it and giving that positive feedback. She also went on to Amazon and noticed that the books that were on there were really long ones, novels, things that were much longer than the stuff that she had been writing, and so she was thinking this was not possible. And that's one of the reasons why she took her stuff and she decided to ask a question on Quora. So she sent me a question on Quora and said, look, what should I do with these stories? I've been giving them away on Wattpad and I'm just not sure what the next step is. And so we took, I answered her on on, uh, on Quora, but in addition, I suggested she book a free uh, discovery session so we could just take a look at her short stories and to see what was going on. And so the first thing I told her was, you absolutely must get these things published on Amazon. Regardless of whatever you have written, you're definitely gonna wanna take that writing and put it on Amazon. Now there are a few rules to keep in mind here when we're looking at strategies. I'm personally interested in helping you sell your books and get them going and moving optimized on Amazon. If the goal is just to throw them on Amazon, you can almost upload a Word file and then they're on Amazon. They're not gonna sell any copies but you can go about doing that if that's something you want to do. But a couple key issues are, we want to stick with only one genre or micro genre or niche that we're targeting. You don't wanna have the same author's name targeting multiple niches. So make sure these things are all together in a single niche. Now you can use initials of your name or something like that, but ideally you would sort of have a different name on each of those different things that you're targeting. The other thing is, is that uh, as we're publishing them out there, we're going to need to figure out and let the audience tell us what's good and what's not good. And that's the reason why we want to publish as many books as we have. If we've written a lot of short stories, we're going to want to get them all onto Amazon. We are not our audience. We don't know what our audience wants. And so we want to let them have the opportunity to tell us what they like and what they don't like. But we want to give the books the best opportunity to sell as possible so it will motivate us to write more books and we continue this exact process here. The next thing you're going to want to remember with your short stories is that if we can get it up to 24 pages in length, uh, then we're going to be able to sell these books on as a paperback book. And so when it comes to Amazon, as I teach in my formatting course below in the description, you can see that as we're going through that particular thing, we're doing everything in our power to ensure that the formatting is in a way that's going to give our books the chance to reach that. That's about 3,000 words should be sufficient. And many people's short stories already cross that. If your short story doesn't meet the 3,000 word limit or you're formatting it incorrectly, which you should be just following the tips in this course, then we're going to make sure that we combine two short stories or three or four or whatever it takes in order to get our short stories to that limit. In addition, they're all going to be in the same niche or genre that we're targeting within that. So then we're going to have our paperback, we're going to have our Kindle version, we're even going to get this into audiobook format. The only rule is you need to make sure the Kindle version of your book is 
already in uh, is on Amazon if you want to publish it through ACX Audibles. So that's a very important point that so many authors forget. And getting an audiobook version is even easier than it is the paperback version. Usually it's because of the cover formatting is more difficult for the paperback version. But the audiobook version is quite simple and finding a narrator is very easy. If we're going the free route, the other route is a little bit trickier, but still completely doable as many of my coaching clients as we work through those steps to get it uh, up and running. And so the other thing is maybe you want to continue to give your books out for free or maybe some of the books for free on what app, on what pad or some other site. And you can do that, just make sure that your Kindle book is not registered under KDP Select, which is a very important thing if you're going to have it on other sites. If not, then definitely register under KDP Select because they will then promote your book in ways they don't books that are not singularly sold uh, just on Amazon. If you want to go broad, then just pull it out of KDP Select and you wait 90 days. It's no problem at all. I did that with all of my books because I definitely want to get them selling on other platforms. There's a lot of money to be made out there on your Kindle books and you do want to give them the biggest opportunity. So as long as they're selling lots of copies on Amazon, leave them there in KDP Select. And when the sales start to decrease, then we pull them off and we're going to push them through Draft to Digital or Publish Drive or something like that. And this works both for the long books, but especially for the short stories, we're definitely going to want to get them out there. And so many authors, just like yourself, who've written short stories and are wanting to get them onto Amazon, the only things you need, you need a cover, which I recommend 99designs. You, have, you need the formatting, which I recommend you learn how to do it yourself using Juto. And then we're pulling that together. We're going to have a description. We're keeping it inside a single niche. And then we go from there. And so that is a, one of the big ones. And as Mary was working through the process, I just pointed out it's easier if you have a list of steps, like a clear checklist. And that's the reason why she just grabbed a copy of my absolutely free self-publishing secrets checklist below in the description. So just to make sure that she wasn't skipping any of the necessary steps to get her book or her short stories self-published and selling. So ultimately what happened then with Mary was that she did in fact get her paperbacks posted out on KDP print and she had her Kindle books out there and she started seeing her what app what ad readers coming in and purchasing these exact books and that's when she realized that we as authors have a lot of barriers that we put on ourselves these internal limitation these mind limitate limiting mindsets that we have that are in place that tell us we can't do something or it's not possible to do something and that's one of the reasons why it's so important to plug in if not with me with some other coach or mentor when it comes to publishing your books to make sure that you're not making the mistakes that are so easy to avoid. And just by doing one discovery session with me, now she did continue on, but doing one discovery session was enough to actually get her going in the correct route. And that works with so many authors when you're getting started and even authors who are established but simply aren't getting the sales that you would like to see on your books. And there's just so many mistakes that you can make. And uh, I can tell you one thing, uh, the above mistakes cost me nearly $3,000. So you're going to want to check out this video here and I will see you over there. Thanks.